everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Agrarian Skies. Yeah, guys, so since last episode, I've been doing some things off camera. Uh, I set up another nether quarry, so we got that going. So we're now turning another 64 by 64 area into dirt in the nether. Uh, let's see, if we look in here, yeah, we should be able to see all of that stuff coming into our system. So yeah, that is really, really awesome. Uh, so I want to start working on a larger quest today, and I don't know if we're going to actually be able to do it, but I want to start it anyway. So what we're going to do is, what is it, for the hoarding? Uh, this quest right here, or I guess this quest section, I want to look at doing even more storage. Now this requires us to make a 16M storage drive. This thing's crazy. So we submit this and we get one back. So it's not like we're throwing those items away, but it's going to take a lot of items. Now I was doing some math on this thing. Now, once again, actually, before we do that, let's take a look at this thing real quick before we get into the math. So in order to make one of these, we need to have a Terra storage cluster, three diamonds, some Fluix dust, and quartz glass. What else can we do here? Oh, we can, if we just make the torch, Terra storage and the advanced storage housing, we can put those together. But yeah, this is the way we're going to do it in the crafting recipe. So this requires one Terra storage cluster. The Terra storage cluster requires three giga storage clusters to be made. Uh, that also requires an advanced processor, a diamond processor, and a diamond and Fluix dust. So the Giga Storage requires three Mega Storage plus Diamond plus semi advanced processors of two more Diamonds. So each of those, yeah, so that requires three of these. Anyway, you can see how this multiplies exponentially as we go down. Very last one, the smallest one, requires four Certus Quartz, a basic processor, Redstone. So each one of those drives is going to need a storage cell. Each one of these storage segments needs three storage cells. Each one of, uh, what, what's the next one up from that thing? The storage block needs, um, yeah, three storage segments. It gets crazy. So I was doing some math. I opened up Google spreadsheets or whatever, and I started calculating out the materials we're going to need. So I think somebody said before in the comments that we're going to need like 11,000 storage quartz. I saw... For my calculations, unless I did this wrong, that we need just under 9,000 Certus Quartz, uh, we are going to need about 3,000 gold processors, uh, almost 12,000 redstone. Let's see, what else we got here? About 1,000 glass, 12, about 1,300 glowstone dust. Oh, man, there's so much stuff. About 364 advanced processors. I think about 31 raw diamonds. And 160 Fluix dust. There's a lot. There's probably some more stuff in there that I missed, but that's like the big, big stuff. Yeah, that's crazy. So it's like 729 of those storage segments. <laughs> so yeah, very, very uh, expensive stuff here. So I made all the the patterns for this stuff. We got all of those in here. If we look storage, yeah, I've made up these fluid storage ones a while ago. I just got done making like these Terra storage, Kilo storage, and all of these. So we should be able to tell it to make the 16M storage and it should go through. Now, the only thing is uh, we don't have those processors right now. Oh yeah, look at this. So we're out of diamonds. I've been making the advanced processors. <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and unblockify all of those guys. I've been making the advanced processors um, just to get that out of the way. We're gonna start working on the basic processors after that. So again, the advanced processors, we needed 364 of those. So yeah, that's quite a lot of those things. How's the system doing on making those? Okay, so we're waiting on silicon right now. Silicon you get from pulverizing either Certus Quartz or Nether Quartz. Since we need so much more Certus Quartz than Nether Quartz, I have pulverized a bunch of that stuff. Uh, we got it right in here. Uh, this is gonna be smelting into our silicon so yeah we also have regular certus quartz dust we've been getting that from our sieve over there so i've also smelted down a little bit of that stuff to turn into it but yeah we need to wait on like three thousand of the silicon before we can even make the advanced processors and we need those before we can even start crafting so this thing is crazy so i'm probably gonna let that go for a while we'll build up a supply of the silicon then i can bust out all those processors and we can start doing that stuff uh, another thing I should probably do is take these advanced processors we've already made and stick those in our th chest over here. Oh, you know what? I think I might have already put these on the export bus, didn't I? 
Yeah, so those should be automatically smelted when there's available room to do that. So I can just go ahead and stick those back in my system. I was going to put those in this chest up here to be put into the hopper to be smelted later. But yeah, we don't need to do that. Okay, so we got most of this stuff underway. All the patterns are created. We're on our way to make this thing. Uh, so now we got to look at some other things to do for today. Okay, so I think what I want to do, let's take a look at... Oh man, what do I want to do? <laughs> There's so many things. You know, I was looking at bragging rights and it looks like we have unlocked another thing right here. This one says crazy automation. So if we come in here, it says, dude, really? A task where the player can hand in item of fluids, uh, blah, blah, blah. So this basically wants us to make four octuple compressed cobblestone. Four. It took us how long to make the first one? Wow. I don't think we're ever going to be able to get to that point. I don't know if I'm going to be playing this map that long. <laughs> so we need four double compressed sand, which is not that difficult, I don't think. No, that's not difficult at all. I don't know why it's only four. Uh, double compressed gravel, we need 16. Quadruple compressed dirt, we need 16. So we're struggling trying to get that 100. Then we need 16 more. This mysterious magnet, 64 of these things. I don't know if we're going to do that. Um, I've made one of these on Feed the Beast Monster before, and that requires a heck of a lot of crafting. I think it took my system around five minutes to craft one of these, and that's with all the resources. I don't think we have all those resources. And then Ign Igneous Extruder, 512. Yeah. <laughs> so lots of stuff. I don't know if we're ever going to get to this crazy automation task. I mean, it's there. Uh, that's under bragging rights if we really want to brag about it, but... Yeah, I don't know if we're ever going to get to that point. Okay, so the end. This was another one we were looking at. Wasn't it the industrialist? Oh, we completed that, didn't we? Yes, we did. Okay, so we have one more quest that is locked and requires seven uh, other quests to be completed elsewhere. We've, we've unlocked one. I don't know what those other seven are, so we just got to keep doing some other stuff. So go with the flow. I guess we could start working on this one today. Uh, yeah, we can do biofuel. This wants us to make one bucket of biofuel. And in order to do that, we have to get into MFR again. So I think it's called a bioreactor. Okay, let's try bio re. Yeah, right there, bioreactor. So we have to make one of these guys a bioreactor. Then we can put in like dyes or some other thing in here. And this will create biofuel. So let's go ahead and make one of those guys real quick. Uh, in fact, I have a sneaky suspicion that we are going to have to mass produce biofuel. So I am going to go ahead and make a pattern for this guy. Brick, sugar, slime ball, machine frame, plastic sheets. Okay, let's encode that. I'm fairly certain we should be able to create one of these things. Oh, when do we make... Do we get these as a reward sometime? Okay, hold on a second. I don't remember ever getting these things before. We must have. Huh. I don't remember creating those before. Anyway, well, we got 10 bioreactors somehow. Okay, very good, very good. So we need a bucket of biofuel. So we put stuff in here. Oh, no, we put stuff in here, I think. I don't remember why there's two things now. Okay, let's grab some bone meal. I know we can do bone meal. At least we used to be able to. So let's put some bone meal in here. Aha, that's what it is. This is like the inventory comes down here, and then it does some stuff. Okay, so we will just go ahead and spam bone meal in here. Uh, need some more, obviously. Not the bone meal bags, just the bone meal. Now, I know you can put other items in here. Like, if you put more than one type in here, um, this efficiency goes up. And I think each efficiency is how much each one of these buffer makes or something. I can't remember how that works. But anyway, the more different types you have in there, like if you do... Uh, rose red in here as well with that bone meal you will increase the efficiency a bit but yeah you need like two different types going at the same time i do believe okay so we just about have a bucket so let's grab a bucket one of these guys okay so i think that should satisfy this part of the quest right manually detect okay so there we go claim that reward Aha, I was right. So this is a repeatable quest. Uh, this wants us to create... Uh, <laughs> dang, 1,600 buckets 
a biofuel, and that'll give us some reactor glass or a reward bag plus another reward bag. Okay, so now we got to figure out how we are going to get biofuel automatically created uh, for this. Hmm. Now we can use bones. We're getting bones pretty much for free from our trap over here. In fact, we have a whole bunch of bones in our ME system. If I remember correctly, let's look real quick. We have 30,000 bones, which we can turn into bone meal, which can turn into biofuel. Okay. So I think what we need to do is get a way to store all this stuff. Or actually, no, I guess we don't need a store. We could make a whole bunch of QDSs and stick those right next to the bioreactors. I'm pretty sure these things push liquid out. Let's try it. Let's grab a quest delivery system and just stick it right next to it. If it empties, then we are right. Yep, it emptied all that fuel. Okay, so we just need a few of these QDSs next to bioreactors to get this going. All right, so that's not too difficult. Uh, we got 10 bioreactors already. I'm going to go and sleep. So we just need to make sure... <laughs> I don't know why that makes me float up. We need to make sure we have 10 QDSs or however many we're going to do. And I think we're just going to pump bone meal into it. Now we have our other liquid stuff going over here. Um, where do I want to set it up? Do I, I guess we could set it up like right here where I used to have the crafting table. So let's do this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we're gonna do ten to start with. And I think we're gonna use export buses on these. Do we wanna do export buses? Huh, we could also use thermal expansion pipes. Let's see. Uh what are those item ducts? Grab some of these guys. Okay, so we can do that. Then I can put like a chest over here. So let's grab a chest. Just grab a regular one. We don't need anything crazy. So this will be your input chest. We'll also need to grab ourselves a pneumatic servo, one of these guys. Okay, so let's stick that there. We will click that guy. Uh, we need to right click on that with an empty hand and set this to ignore redstone. So whatever comes in here, is just gonna pipe through all these chests or uh, I guess all these bioreactors. Okay, so we need to poke a hole and we're gonna need an export bus. Export bus, yep. Poke another hole so I can actually get down there. Okay, so where's my closest ME cable? Looks like it's right over there. We're gonna have to come over on top of the reactor. That's fine. So let's grab ourselves a little bit of cable. We will just run a line all the way over here. Okay, so how is that? Is that right there? Uh-huh. It's hard to see. There's so many cables and stuff all the way around. Okay, there, there, there. Not there. Almost, almost everywhere but there. And then here and here. There we go. Okay, so that's connected all the way over here. Let's grab this piece of dirt. Aha. So now we should just be able to shift place. Aha. Uh -huh. And is that the last one? Okay, there we go. Now that's all set up. So now the only thing we have to do right here is tell this to export bone meal. I think we need a crafting recipe in our ME system for that. Uh, yeah, I don't believe we have that set up. So for now, we'll just tell it to export slash craft. Okay, so bone meal is now going to these guys. Aha, so now we need to tell this thing how to craft bone meal. Uh, so we need a bone, one of these. I know you get more bone meal if you stick this in the pulverizer, but honestly, with how many bones we have, I really don't think that matters. Okay, so now that that's in the system, we now know how to make bone meal. So this should always be able to craft in here. Let's just grab all of these out of here and stick into the chest for it. Okay, so I don't know how fast this is going to go. 
Yeah, this is actually going pretty slow, isn't it? I think it might be better if we have like more than one type in here, but I really don't know what we can mass produce that will go in here. Can we do like, I don't know, will seeds, like soybean seeds or something? Will those be able to go in here? Well, it looks like that's doing something. Okay, well, that did work a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, we only got one bucket in here. None of these other ones have done anything yet. Um, yeah, we're really going to have to figure out how to do this. Okay, tell you guys what. I'm going to do a little bit of research, see if there's an easier way besides plain bone meal to put in these that we can get a decent amount of biofuel, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I got this all set up and we're doing pretty good. We're 63% completed on our biofuel quest. So yeah, this is coming along quite n nicely. Yeah, 64%. Woo, this is pretty quick. Now, uh, I wasn't really sure what I was going to do to get all these things going. But as it turns out, I really didn't need to do much as far as all these other ones go. Uh, yeah, these are all pretty much not being used. We're only using one right here and we have full efficiency. So I put in uh, all of these different types of things. We got bone meal, potatoes, mushrooms, seeds. Uh, those are wheat seeds, rubber saplings, jungle saplings, carrots, soybean seeds, and oak saplings. All of these are different types that can be turned into biofuel. And yeah, we have bumped our efficiency all the way up to full. And as you can see, just one of those guys going is enough to get this thing uh, pretty well on our way. Now, I don't know why this isn't ejecting fuel. It seems like it should. Maybe the uh, fluid duct is just completely maxed out at this point. I really don't know. But, yeah, these other guys are totally not doing anything. Uh, so we can just go ahead and get rid of all of these guys. Yeah, I've used these bioreactors before in the past, and I seem to remember that we needed a whole bunch of these things to keep up with uh, production, but I guess they've been changed or something. So we can just go ahead and get rid of the, all these extra ones. Hmm, I was really expecting to have like a crazy operation set up to do this, but nope, just one is enough. So that's awesome. Okay, so we can go ahead and put all of this stuff away. Our biofuel should be finishing up here in just a little bit. So now we can go ahead and move on to something else. So, uh, other things we needed to do was, let's see, there was ethanol. Yeah, this is a forestry one. Uh, we have to do destabilized redstone, one bucket of that. I guess we can do that to unlock these quests. So let's do a bucket of destabilized redstone. And I believe we need, what is it, 10 pieces? Yeah, I don't want to do the entire quest for this because a lot of that redstone that we have right now, I know is going to be used for making that 16 M storage. So, ah, uh, get, what? <laughs> I just looked at my sis in my inventory and there was one here and there. I looked over there and then it was gone. Ah, inventory desync or whatever. Uh, so magma crucible, let's do this and we will get ourselves a new bucket. One of these guys, just one is all we need. And we can go ahead and fluid transpose that into a bucket. Awesome. Okay, so that should go ahead and satisfy this quest. Mm-hmm. So we can claim our reward. And then this wants us to do... 50,000? Is that five bu 50 buckets worth? That really doesn't seem like it's that much. Uh, I guess we can go ahead and do that as well. Hmm, I'm trying to think what's the best way to do that. Now, this uh, fluid transposer, or I guess the magma crucible does eject, doesn't it? Maybe we should make a new magma crucible somewhere uh, so it can eject into a QDS, or I guess we could stick it right on top of this thing. Hmm, I'm not sure what the best way to do this is. I really don't want to have to make a whole new setup for like a quest that we're only going to use once. So yeah, maybe let's grab a new quest. Quest delivery system, one of these guys. Stick that guy there. Let's grab this page. Yeah, if it's only 50, that's not bad at all. So let's select that task, stick that there. Um, as far as redstone goes, we don't have any blocks of it anymore. I guess I could go ahead and turn those into blocks. We can put like a half a stack of blocks in there. I think that should work. Do that. Yeah, I'm just going to put like half a stack in there. I'm not exactly sure how many we need, but I don't want to do too much, that's for sure. Uh, so the top is going to be what we are sending to. So hopefully, I guess I'll just sit here and watch this first one to make sure that the 900 millibuckets actually do make it up into 
our quest delivery system. And it did. So that's 1%. So we're going to need, a, I'm guessing, 100 blocks if one block is 1%. Okay, so maybe we should do that. Two blocks. Yeah, it's like every one is... Yeah, okay. So we'll do another stack of blocks. Um, yeah, we'll just have those going. Okay, so I tell you guys what. Let me wait for the biofuel to finish up. Actually, it looks like it's done, doesn't it? I think it might be. Let's look. Biofuel. That is completed. Okay, so we will claim that reward. Let's do this. We don't want the reactor glass. Okay, so we got a few reward bags going. Uh, let me wait for the redstone portion of this to complete, and we'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, so that redstone didn't really take that much longer, to be honest. I think it only took less than a full stack of those blocks, if I remember correctly. I... I can't remember exactly how many it took, but I walked away, came back, it was done. Uh, so yeah, now the task is complete, but this is a repeatable quest, so it says it's 0% right now, but we still have an unclaimed reward. So we can do either 64 nether redstone ores, or a re reward bag. I think I'm going to do the reward bag as normal. Uh, we're always getting redstone through our mining laser, and through our nether quarry, things like that, so we don't really need to worry about that too much. So this one's an epic. Yeah, we got four epic to go and two greater. Uh, I started looking at another one of these quests. Uh, Blazing Pyruthium. It was right next to it, so I made a Pyruthium bucket. We can go ahead and claim this reward, just a half a heart. This unlocked another one, Great Balls of Fire. Uh, repeatable quest. Yeah, all of these seem to be repeatable. Ah, and it wants to do 50 of these as well. And that's going to give us a couple of different things here. Hmm. Well, tell you guys what, I'll probably end up doing this one off camera. Uh, we have, that'll give us five buckets worth of pyruthium. So we got a lot of pyruthium to actually create. Uh, 10 pyruthium equals one bucket. So yeah, we got a bunch of that stuff I have to make. Uh, let's go ahead and start opening up some of these reward bags that we've collected. So let's do the greater ones first. And blood sampling, that's awesome. So that's the, uh, the bloodwood trees. Okay, and let's do this one. And looks like a bunch of vanilla things. Okay. Um, yeah, like it says, not so good reward. But I guess cobwebs, I don't think there's any other way to get those in your inventory, maybe? Oh, no, no, you can soak touch them, can't you? Okay, whatever. Uh, so, yeah, not that great of a reward. Let's go ahead and put these things away so we have some more inventory space. And I'll do that pyruthium probably off camera, like I said. Uh, so now we have epic reward bags. What are we going to get? And unbreaking three book, not terrible but it could be better we already have like a bunch of those uh particle customizer rainbow smoke Ooh. okay so i think this is how you can change the particles on your jetpack so by default they're this color and i think you can change them to a rainbow or whatever I'm not really sure if i'm ever gonna do that but it is kind of cool that they have that as a reward uh so let's check out another one 64k storage not bad this will help us out actually making our 16M storage drive. In fact, how are we doing on that silicon? 367, yeah, we're gonna need 10 times that amount. So, <laughs> yeah, we got a ways to go to make that. Okay, and then finally, let's do our final epic reward bag in a lamp of growth. I think I've actually received one of those before. Yeah, we had one lamp of growth before. Uh, we have five lamps of fertility. Uh, I haven't really done a whole lot in the Thomcraft stuff, so I, I assume these are pretty good. I don't know how complicated they are to make, but we're probably never going to be using them. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today. Like I said, off camera, I'm going to do the pyrothium, start getting that going, and we'll probably complete that quest next episode. But yeah, guys, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on this episode if you liked it, and we'll see you next time.